In this session, I'll discuss areas of parallelograms and triangles. It's a very simple chapter. There are only two, three basic concepts. Now, everything is based on identifying the first point, identifying figures on the same base and between the same parallels. So how we will identify figures on the same base and between the same parallels, I will explain that using some simple diagrams so that it's very clear to all of you. Let's look at some examples where figures are on the same base and between the same parallels. So for that, let's take a line DC. Now take another parallel line AF. If I take a point B here and if I join A, B, C, D, a, B, C, D is a trapezium. Now take one more point here which is E and join E, F, C, D which is a parallelogram. So A, B, C, D is a trapezium. E, F, C, D is a parallelogram in this particular uh, scenario. Both these figures are on the same base as you can see C, D and they are between the same parallels. Reason because uh, how will you verify? Once we get the common base or the common side, which is CD here, the vertices opposite to this particular side, all of them are on the same parallel line. That is why we can confirm or we can easily identify that trapezium ABCD and the parallelogram EFCD are on the same base and between the same parallels. Here the parallel lines are DC and AF. So these kind of diagrams are easy to identify and once we can identify these kind of diagrams we will look at some basic properties based on these kind of diagrams so before that let's look at one more example which will be like between the on the same where the figures are on the same base and between the same parallels so take a line dc take another parallel line ap take a point b such that uh, a b c d is a parallelogram join PD so that PCD is a triangle. Now, you, as you can see here, for the parallelogram ABCD and for the triangle PCD, there is a common base which is CD here. The vertices, in case of parallelograms, it's A and B. And the vertex for the opposite to this particular side, for triangle is P. They are all on the same line. AP which is parallel to CD that is why parallelogram ABCD and the triangle PCD we can say that they are on the same base and between the same parallels so it's, it's very easy to verify these kind of figures now let's look at one more example over here ABCD is a parallelogram and DEC is a triangle now even though they are on the same base CD they are not between the same parallels. So it won't, this is, this, these figures are not like the ones which we have discussed before. Because there is a common base, but the vertices opposite to this common base, in this case of parallelogram points A and B, and the word in case of triangle point E, they are not on the same line. That is why this is not, these are not figures which are, even though they are not on the same base, even though they are on the same base, they are not between the same parallels. Let's look at one more uh, set of figures. Uh, parallelogram ABCD here and triangle PQR. They are, even though they are out of the two parallels, one must be the line containing the common base. So in this case, uh, PR and DC, they are not the common base. They are, uh, they, even though they are between the same parallels, that is ABCD and PQR, triangle PQR are between the same parallels. There is no common base here because for triangle PR is the base and for parallelogram CD is the base. So even these set of figures won't qualify as figures on the same base and between the same parallels. So this is something which we'll have to identify before we start using some of the basic properties which will help us to solve the kind of questions which you can expect uh, as part of this uh, particular chapter. Just to summarize what we have discussed, what we have seen in diagrams, two figures are said to be on the same base and between the same parallels. If they have a common base 
or side and the vertices op or vertex opposite to the common base of each figures lie on the line parallel to the base this is something which you have clearly understood using diagrams so i am sure you will be able to figure out diagrams like this and the diagrams which can't be taken like this